Hello foodies, welcome back for another episode of Crave GFL. Today we are in downtown Fort Lauderdale at the historic Chemistry Street. I'm at Pizza Craft. These guys are delivering artisanal chef-driven pizzas, homemade pastas, and small plates that will blow your mind. I'm heading inside to meet executive chef Jaciel and then headed next door to their hidden speakeasy for an adult beverage. Chef, how are ya? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, good, man, so good to see you. Uh, I love Pizza Craft. You guys are taking what is the traditional pizza and flipping it on its head. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the concept here at Pizza Craft? Actually, we do everything different. We do fresh items every morning, quality items. We're using wood fire ovens, actually, to make it smell the pizza much better. And uh, so when you're cooking it in the wood fire oven, what's the process, what's happening there that makes it special? So you have to put in the more hot space in the beginning. So make it sure the bottom is good and let's make it like five to six minutes to cook. And that's making sure it's very crispy, the, uh, the pizza. Nice, yeah, that gives it a nice crispy crust. I'd love that. And the ingredients that you're adding to these pizzas, you know, you have stuff like a bacon potato pizza. You know, that's not a traditional uh, item. Yeah, actually we're using Gruyere cheese and Fontina cheese for this for this kind of pizza. It's yeah. imported from Italy and Swiss. Yeah. And we're using a Newski bacon. So it's a small Newski bacon. It's not this kind of bacon you uh, find usually. All right, chef, you're talking about these ingredients, you're making my mouth water. I gotta try some of these pizzas. You just give me like five minutes, I do something for you. You wanna take a seat for me? All right, <laughs> awesome. All right, I got a little bit of savory, I got a little bit of sweet, and I got a little bit of drink. This is the Rockin' Cocoa. It's a special craft beer that has been made just for the J Group. They feature it at all their restaurants like Rock Burger and Pizza Craft. And uh, craft beer in Greater Fort Lauderdale is one of our staples, so cheers to that. And we can start off with my favorite pizza here, the Carbonara. It's got cream, fontina, guanciale, roasted farm egg, pecorino, Italian parsley, black pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. And my favorite part is that roasted egg on top because you get to dip your pizza right in it. Mm. The yolk from the egg mixes with the cheese. It's a sharp, sharp taste from the cheese. Nice and salty. Um, the cracked pepper adds a slight kick to it and the parsley rounds it all out. This is so good. And you get a crispy crust in the bottom because of the way it's cooked in the oven. And over here we have a bacon and potato pizza, which is something I've never seen before. And the potato's so heavy, it just kind of makes the slice a little floppy, even though it has a super crispy crust. Mm. You get nice pops of saltiness from the bacon, and the potato is cooked perfectly. It's still firm enough, but just soft enough that when you bite into it, it becomes mashed potatoes in your mouth. And the Gruyere and Fontina combine for a great cheese flavor with caramelized onions, adding subtle sweetness to it. Great pizza. And a not so subtle sweetness is this amazing Nutella pizza. It comes with caramelized bananas, chocolate chips, toasted marshmallows, and a nice healthy dose of Nutella as the sauce. The caramelized bananas have a nice crispy layer on top of them, and that combines with the crispy layer on the bottom of the crust. It's so good, I could eat all day, but I want to head next door to their private speakeasy, Apothecary 330. It is hidden in plain sight. If you walk through the outside of the building, you won't even know it's there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a craft cocktail. And just beyond the hidden wall at Pizza Craft, you arrive to a magical place called Apothecary 330. And if you're a fan of the show, you might recognize this guy. Garrett, how are you? Doing well, how are you today? Good, we did a great episode at uh, Rock Burger with you and uh, you served up glasses of friendship over there. And uh, now you have cocktails over here at Apothecary. This is your craft cocktail bar. Uh, it is a speakeasy, so it's a little hidden and hard to find, uh, but once you find it, it's magical. Uh, but first, before we get to the cocktails, I want to learn a little bit more about Pizza Craft and the concept there and how that all came together. Well, a lot of it with Pizza Craft, it was inspiration amongst all the owners to pretty much have another concept with the best food in all of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, bring in Tony Geminani's flour and a unique Italian 
uh, pizza oven. Mm. Bring something that was not available here for perfect Neapolitan style pies that also would pair well with our whiskeys that was inspired by Prohibition era Chicago. And now that we are here at Apothecary, your specialty here is whiskey. I'd say we're a whiskey bar and a cocktail lounge inspired by all the, fa uh, the vast mixologists around the United States and also the whiskeys that were rudimentary to uh, developing the United States and the restaurants and business. What do we got uh, today? What's on the menu? Let's see, today we're going to be doing a cachaça style drink, which is a native uh, cane liqueur from Brazil. Okay. Something that'll be popular down here and it's also blended with a little bit of a, an allspice that reminds you of the Northeast. Mm. And so what we have there, we call it the Brazilian campfire. Okay. A little banana, pineapple, a little bit of a fire. Go ahead and try it. I will. Cheers. Ooh, that's really good. Really good. It is sweet, but you're getting that smoky aroma off the bat um, and then being kicked in the taste buds with a little bit of sweetness. Um, and you can't really taste the liquor in that. Uh, I do taste some of the banana, though, and you said that's from the liquor, right? That would be. That. Yeah, Very see, nose forward. I love it. I love it, man. That is amazing. Brother, thank you again. Always a pleasure. I appreciate it. Soon. And thank you guys for tuning in to Crave GFL. That is it for this episode. We hope to catch you guys next time. Check out brand new episodes at visitlauderdale.tv. For now, I'm going to finish this off.